Minecraft spiders have been an important feature in the game since nearly the beginning of the game. The usefulness of their string to create various Minecraft items, along with their added variation of being both a neutral and hostile mob, makes them an important addition to the game. So today, let's learn more about these little creatures with the history of Minecraft spiders. The history of Minecraft spiders begins on October 23rd of 2009 when Notch shared an image of a spider to the world of Notch Tumblr page. The caption of the image simply stated, new enemy type. The idea is that these will produce web tiles. As you can see, the spider has a brown color in the image. Just about 28 minutes before the release of the 0.26 survival test version on October 24th of 2009, Notch changed the color to a darker color at the suggestion of Zion on the Tigsaurs forums, so they were no longer that brownish color. Spiders were officially the fifth mob added in the survival test version of Minecraft. At this point, spiders could not jump very far, they gave the player 105 points when they were killed, and the spider's eyes did not glow. In the Java in-dev version on February of 2010, the eyes of the spider did start glowing in the dark. Additionally, spiders began dropping 0 to 2 string when they were killed, something that we still see happen today. Spider jockeys were added in the Alpha Secret Friday 8 release on August 20th of 2010. These spider jockeys received an update in 2010's Halloween update with the skeletons now holding a bow. The Minecraft beta versions brought a few changes to spiders. On January 13th of 2011, in the Java Edition Beta 1.2 version, spiders were given the ability to climb vertical walls of any block, and they could see the player through solid blocks to track them down. Prior to spiders having this ability, creepers actually had the ability to see through walls, but it was decided that it made better sense for spiders to do this. In the beta 1.14 version from March 31st of 2011, spiders could no longer trample crops. As Jeb mentioned on Twitter, wolves actually got the same feature at this time, and they became quieter when walking, at the request of C418 on Twitter. The next update for spiders came with a whole new mob in the Minecraft 1.8 beta pre-release on September 9th of 2011. The update officially added cave spiders to the game, a small venomous variant of spiders that lives in abandoned mine shafts, which were also added in this version. In the Minecraft Beta 1.9 pre-release version, just before the official release of Minecraft, spiders and cave spiders were given a chance at dropping one spider eye when killed by a player or wolf. Additionally, the health points of spiders were reduced from 10 hearts to 8 hearts, while cave spiders were changed from 10 hearts to 6 hearts. On October 31st of 2011, in the Beta 1.9 pre-release 4, spiders and cave spiders both became immune to the poison status effect, and were now considered to be arthropods, which can take bonus damage from the Bane of Arthropods enchantment. In the Minecraft 1.2.1 version from March of 2012, cave spiders were given the ability to climb ice blocks, and they became able to swim extremely fast in water streams. In the 1.3.1 version of Minecraft from August of 2012, spiders became aggressive towards the last mob or player that hit them. Also in August of 2012, spiders were officially added to the Pocket Edition in Alpha 0.3.3. I found this footage of the spiders from Dallas Med 65's channel. Spiders and Spider Jockeys were included in the first console edition of Minecraft on May 9th of 2012. I found this footage from Killfeed's channel. I never played console edition, so, you know, had to find somewhere else to show you. In Minecraft 1.4.2 from October of 2012, spiders were updated with a new walking sound which sounds like this. This YouTube comment here says it sounds like wet noodles. Also in 1.4.2, spider eggs began having a chance at spawning a spider jockey, and those used in the nether fortress now have a chance at spawning a spider jockey with a wither skeleton. Cave spiders were added to the TU5 version of console edition on October 16th of 2012. The footage shown in the video is from an old IBX Toy Cats video. 
Let me know if uh, you know who he is and if you enjoy his videos. In Minecraft 1.6.1 on July 1st of 2013, spiders were given a chance at spawning with some status effects on hard difficulty. These status effects are speed, strength, regeneration, and invisibility. In October of 2013, Minecraft brought us the update that changed the world with Minecraft 1.7.2. This update saw spiders no longer being provoked by a player in creative mode. A small change, but it definitely makes sense. The bountiful update of 1.8 from September of 2014 saw an update that changed spiders mechanics pretty strongly. For the first time since Minecraft beta, spiders and cave spiders no longer could see players through blocks. Both types of spiders were given a new AI system that was specifically made for spiders which allowed them to take better control of their climbing ability. This is a very significant change to the mob. Minecraft 1.8.1 made it so spiders could no longer run away from creepers that were about to explode. Spider jockeys and cave spiders were added to Minecraft Pocket Edition in the Alpha 0.11.0 version on June 4th of 2015. The footage you saw on screen was from Laza MCPE's channel. The combat update of 1.9 from February of 2016 changed the spider's sight again with spiders now being able to see through blocks again by drawing lines of sight right through blocks. Clearly a quick change back to this as spiders not being able to see through blocks only lasted during the 1.8 versions of the game. In Minecraft 1.9.4, spider jockeys began not spawning due to a bug. In the Minecraft 1.10 update from June of 2016, spiders that spawned in cold biomes now were given a chance at spawning with a stray mount or a stray spider jockey if you will. In the November 2016 exploration update of 1.11, the entity IDs of spiders was changed from spider with a capital S to spider with a lowercase s. This came along with the massive changes of entity IDs in this version of Minecraft. This same update was given to cave spiders. In September of 2017, spiders, cave spiders, and spider jockeys were added to the Nintendo 3DS version of 0.1.0, the first release of the Nintendo 3DS edition. The footage that you could see on screen of the Nintendo 3DS gameplay was either from Alexa Legacy's channel or the IGN channel. Let me know if you have played the Nintendo 3DS version of Minecraft because I haven't seen much of it and I'm very interested to know if you enjoyed it. The Minecraft 1.13 version in July of 2018 fixed the spider jockey's spawning bug that caused jockeys not to spawn. That bug lasted since Minecraft 1.9.4. Finally, the April 2019 Village and Pillage update of Minecraft 1.14 saw the final changes to all variation of spiders that we have received so far. In this version of Minecraft, spiders, cave spiders, and jockeys all received a new texture as a part of the first major release of the texture update. As a result of the texture change, spiders that spawned with speed, strength, or regeneration on hard mode all have new looks too. In Bedrock Edition, spiders, cave spiders, and spider jockeys got the same texture in March of 2019. Jasper, who is working on the new textures, had actually previously shared an updated image of cave spiders in October of 2017, about a year and a half earlier. And that's where we stand today because in Minecraft 1.15 there were no big spider updates and so far in Minecraft 1.16 snapshots we haven't seen any big spider updates either. There are plenty of other fun facts revolving around spiders, cave spiders, and spider jockeys that I didn't mention in this video. I really wanted to focus on some of the major changes to spiders that we have seen in the game. Feel free to share any fun facts that you know about spiders in the comment section that you want to share with others. But that's where I'm going to leave you with the history of the Minecraft spider. We'll see what the future holds. Maybe some like new variant of spiders will come in the future or something like, um, I don't know, mutant spiders or something. For now, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, feel free to let me know. And feel free to subscribe and click the bell too so you'll always know when I upload new videos. Lately, I've been uploading pretty much every day. Also, leaving a like definitely helps me out too, but that is going to do it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. I'm out of here. See ya.